Sandy Kill LLC proudly presents The Breakfast Club of Sandy Kill Podcast. Welcome to the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. My name is Alicia, and let me introduce you to the rest of Sandy Care Breakfast Club. Hi, I'm Josh. Hey, this is Marianne. That's a horse. Hi, I'm named Tyler. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, I'm Bonnie. I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Angelica. Hello, this is Andrew. Hi, I'm Ashley. Hi, I'm Kim. I'm Dara. Hi, I'm Kevin. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Wake him up. And <laughs> hey, my name's Epo. Hi, this is Sue. <laughs> <laughs> what? Hey, what? Hi, I'm Hi, I'm Missy. And introducing Ramon, working the Sandy Care soundboard. Hello, everybody. Introducing Delphinia W. Gilbert, administrator and proprietor of Sandy Care LLC. The mission of Sandy Care is to provide caring services that promote the improvement and quality of life for citizens with special needs through compassion and integrity. We are dedicated to providing a meaningful and innovative environment through community engagement while addressing activities of daily living. That's Sandy Care. Thank you, Mrs. Gilbert. And before you leave the house, don't forget the news we like to call the morning toast. Are you hungry for the headline? The City Care Breakfast Club will serve you your morning toast. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, I'm Kevin. Hi, I'm Missy. Hi, I'm Jason. Hi, I'm Josh. And this is your morning toast. Today is nasal herbs. And spices day all year long. Herbs and spices are essential to cooking. Sandwiching breakfast cup. What are your favorite herbs and spices you use? Well, basically. I can talk about three spices that are my favorite. They're being featured in a game from Humongous Entertainment, Freddy Fish, the case of the hogfish wrestlers of Brandy Gulch. It's available now on Steam. And you can test out lemongrass, pepper, and cayenne there. Those are spices, you know. Okay, I got three of them. Black pepper, cinnamon, and salt are my spices. Mine would be coriander and cayenne spices. Oh, my favorite is make like hot sauce soup. I don't know what they put in in Chinese Chinese food. They make the spice maybe be like uh, red peppers or for salsa. Make them pepper be like uh, for chili, uh, like cayenne or something like that for chili and salsa. Those kind of things. That's my favorite. Spices, hot thing, pepper and salt. My my favorite um my favorite um urban spices are probably salt and pepper um for corn on the cob. Um, mine would have to be pepper, uh, cinnamon, and that's basically it. I like salt and pepper, and cinnamon, and that's it. It's like you know that stuff that you put on your your pasta. Are you talking about parmesan? No, the, the green, the gr- little green leaves, they, like, you know, when you have, like, Roman noodles and you could put it on your Alfredo, it's like that little green leaf. Is it chives? I forgot what it's called. Chives? Huh? Chives? 
Yeah, that's what it is. Yep. Yeah, yep. So, like salt and pepper and um, cinnamon. Oh, listen, herbs and spices. All spice. There's a spice called Angelica. Bay leaf, basil. Uh, black mustard. Black pepper. Brown mustard. Catnip. Cayenne pepper. Celery oh, seed. Like chili pepper. Oh, I love chili peppers. Chives. I think, I think cinnamon. Does chili pepper. Cilantro. Uh, there's a ton. Curry. Ginger. Oh, curry. Cosmary. Yeah. Ginger. Mm -hmm. Ginger. Grains of paradise. Holy basil. Lavender. Oh. Lemongrass. Oh, I love licorice. That. Peppermint. Mace. Peppermint. Nutmeg. Oregano. Paprika. Parsley. Said Poppy seed, rosemary, sage, sesame, spearmint, uh, thyme, thyme. Is it thyme or thyme? Vanilla, wasabi, white mustard. Salt isn't a grain, is it? It's probably not, yeah. But that's okay. Y'all said pepper, so that that qualifies. My favorite spices are ginger and cinnamon. My herbs and spices are salt and pepper. I like cinnamon a little bit. Oh yeah, cinnamon is good for you. Did you know that, Toby? And a little bit of vanilla. I like cinnamon. I like spearmint and peppermint. Get a ballpoint pen and write this on your calendar. June 10th of the of this each year, National Ballpoint Pen Day recognizes the useful writing utensil and commemorates the anniversary of the pen filing on June 10th, 1943. Before 1943, anyone who wanted to write a letter uh, or to scribble some notes on a piece of paper, use the fountain pen or pencil. Now, the dominant writing instrument, the ballpoint pen is originally conceived and developed as a cleaner and more reliable alternative to the quill and fountain pens. National Iced Tea Day on June 10th each year celebrates one of summer's favorite drinks. Whether you prefer sweetened or unsweetened, with or without lemon, many love and enjoy iced tea by the glass full all summer long. Creating your custom iced tea is as easy as adding a hint of flavor. Whether you add a squeeze of lemon or the juice of raspberries, lime, passion fruit, strawberry, or cherry, make your iced tea your way. Sandy Care Breakfast Club, What's your favorite way to enjoy iced tea? Is no caffeine, green tea with honey. <laughs> well, I drink iced tea every day. My favorite iced tea is green tea with honey. I drink mice with, with sugar and honey. What kind? Uh, green tea. I like raspberry tea. Raspberry iced tea. I like cherry iced tea and regular regular iced tea and unsweet iced tea. You know, like go in my lunch or my dinner sometime. Or you get one of those squirt bottle things. I like those things. Come in squirt bottle thing. They're good too. My name is um, sweet tea, and I like Lipton iced tea. I like lemon tea and sweet tea. Tea. What kind of iced tea you like? Yeah, fancy pie. Um, hmm, let me have it. Mm, 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 mom, you need to see the 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 dad. You need to get the the tea. 
Back then, I didn't used to like iced tea, but now that I tried um, a new flavor that's called peach iced tea, I like that. Um, I um, I don't drink iced tea, but I do drink it when I go to the install all the time. My favorite iced tea is either strawberry or raspberry. Well, my favorite way to enjoy iced tea on a sick day is with regular and honey. But on days when I'm not sick, boring, boring, all regular, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> and nacho, no, I think. Roll out the red carpet for one of the country's ultimate comfort foods. National Egg Roll Day on June 10 delivers one American dream story and satisfies the craving at the same time. You know you're craving an egg roll now. Sandy K Breakfast Club, how do you like your egg roll? I like my egg rolls with soy sauce on it. I like my egg rolls with um, soy sauce on it. I like my egg roll from uh, from Happy Garden and Asian Garden. They give me a uh, shoot three shallow chicken, white rice and their egg roll and give me a red red dye dip in and do egg roll because and the hot sauce with them because they're so good all together i like my egg rolls um with um soy sauce as well my favorite egg roll is whether it's chicken beef or pork i like any kind of egg rolls i like salmon and peppermint on it National Black Cow Day on June 10th, each year recognizes an ice cream float beverage, also known as root beer float. That's right. The beverage made with root beer and vanilla ice cream was also called a black cow. It was originally made with vanilla ice cream, but sometimes it's made with chocolate ice cream or even plain cola flavor. Frank J. Wesner of Cripple Creek, Colorado gets the credit for inventing the black cow way back in August of 1893. Santa Cruz Breakfast Club. What place do you get your black cow or root beer float? An ice cream chore. Well, I'm sorry to talk about this with you guys, but I don't have a favorite place where I can get a black cow. Garden makes root beer. Homing I make. I make homing root beer too, myself too. I get my black cow at Milk and Honey, which is located in Canton, Ohio. Normally, I get my Rupert float at um, Arby's. I get chocolate ice cream in it, too. I get my root beer float at Steak and Shake and Homemade. They're very good. I could get different flavors, like birthday cake and everything. Like from birthday cake and cookie and cream, cookie and mint with, you know, with, with, with root beer, Coca-Cola, Diet Coke inside of it. So, yeah, I get all those. They're so good from Steak and Shake. I think uh, Swinson's. Swinson's or A&W. I get them from McDonald's. Um, cow, um, good beer. I get a black cow, um, at the dogs. Um, I have, I had a root beer flow at the sweet shop in, in Seville. Vanilla ice cream. I get the, uh, black cow from AW. And that is your morning toast. Thank you. 
On to the first topic, but first, a brief coffee break. Hi, I'm Karen. This is Standing Care Radio. Hi, this is Josh of the Breakfast Club of Standing Care Podcast. The Breakfast Club of Standing Care Podcast is now available to check out on the all-new Google Podcasts. Hi, my name is Ashley. The Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast is available on TuneIn Alexa. All you have to say is, Hey, Alexa, I want to listen to the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. Playing the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. Howdy, this is Marion. Like, subscribe. Leave a comment on the Breakfast Club of Sandicare podcast at podbean.com. Hi, this is Kelsey. Welcome to Sandicare Radio. Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast. Episode 41, we discussed about self-confidence and how to defeat your inner bully. And in today's segment, we're going to teach you the tips on how to build your self-confidence. According for reach out.com confidence can be a tough thing to build up we've put together some handy tips to help you out if you're still having a hard time even after trying these self-help ideas don't worry we've also listed the ways you can find extra support and work on boosting your confidence with the help of others this can help if you want to know more about your self-confidence you wish you were more confident person you want some practical steps to build your self-confidence what is a confident person not everyone is born with a inbuilt sense of self-confidence sometimes it can be hard to develop confidence because personal experiences have caused you to lose confidence or because you suffer from low self-esteem a confident person does what they believe is right eve is up popular is willing to take a risk admitted their mistake and learned from them is able to accept a compliment it is optimistic tip for building self-confidence there are a number of things you can do to build your confidence some of them are just small changes to your frame of mind others you will have to work on for a bit longer to make them familiar habits. Number one, look at what you've already achieved. It's easy to lose confidence if you believe you haven't achieved anything. Make a list of all the things you're proud of in your life, whether it's getting a good mark on an exam or learning to surf. Keep the list close by and add to it whenever you do something you're proud of. When you're low in confidence, pull out the list and use it to remind yourself of all the awesome stuff you've done. Number two, think of things you're good at. Everyone has strengths and talents. What are yours? Recognizing what you're good at and trying to build on 
those things will help you to build confidence in your own abilities. Number three, set some goal. Set some goal and set out the steps you need to take to achieve them. They don't have to be big goals. They can even be things like baking a cake or planning a night out with friends. Just aim for some small achievement that you can take off a list to help you gain confidence in your ability to get stuff done. Number four, talk yourself up. You're never going to feel confident if you have negative commentary running through your mind telling you that you are no good. Think about your self-talk and how that might be affecting your self-confidence. Treat yourself like you would your best friend and cheer yourself on. Number five, get a hobby. Try to find something that you're really passionate about. It could be sports, knitting, or anything else. When you've worked out your passion, commit yourself to giving it a go. Chances are, if you're interested or passionate about a certain activity, you're more likely to be motivated and you'll build skills more quickly. If you're not feeling better, sometimes the quick fixes don't help in the long term. If you're feeling bad and things just don't seem to be improving, it's worth talking to someone who knows how to help. Professionals such as counselors and psychologists can help you develop strategies to help you build up your confidence. They may also be able to help you understand any underlying problems that may be causing you to feel bad about yourself. The Sandy Care Breakfast Club will return after this coffee break. Hello, Jennifer. You're listening to Sandy Care Radio. I'm Samantha. Follow us on Twitter at Sandcare LLC. Hi, this is Seth. Like us on Facebook at Sandcare LLC. Hi, this is Pam. The Breakfast Club of Sandy Care Podcast is available free on iTunes, on the Apple podcast app. Hi, my name is Kevin, and the Rivers Club of Sandy Care podcast is now available on iHeartRadio. Thanks for listening. Want to ask us a question? Do you have a comment? We will read and respond to your questions and comments on the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast. Email us at sandycarebreakfastclub at gmail.com. Thanks for listening. This concludes this episode of the Breakfast Club of Sandy Care podcast. We will now leave you with an inspirational quote. The most beautiful thing you can wear is confidence. Blake Lively. Goodbye. Adios, amigos. Goodbye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye, Felicia. Bye, Felicia. Bye, bye, now, monkey. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Meow. That was cat. 
Bye. Bye bye. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh my God. Goodbye. Goodbye. Stanley Care is a proud member of the Wadsworth Area Chamber of Commerce.